Hello guys and welcome to Employ Your Mind. In this video we will talk about the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule. Take a look at your closet. Have you noticed that you only use the 20% of your clothes 80% of the time? And that you only use the other 80% of your clothes 20% of the time? If you pay attention, you will notice that you only use 20% of the space in your home 80% of the time. Your TV, bed, table, they are in the same place all the time, but you use the same paths to get to the bathroom, the kitchen, bedroom, while the other 80% of the space is only used 20% of the time. This is the Pareto Principle, or 80-20 rule, and it is defined with the following concept. There is no balance between your efforts and your results. You can see that 20% of the drivers cause 80% of the accidents, or that 20% of the items on the menu of a restaurant represent the 80% of the revenue. You also notice that 20% of your actions amount for the 80% of your results. The 80-20 ratio can be slightly different in some cases, like 85-15 or 75-25, but the principle remains the same. There is no correlation between the amount of work you put in and your productivity. And how can we improve our productivity using the 80-20 rule? Certainly not by working more, but by working smarter, prioritizing productivity over work time. Now, how can we apply the 80-20 rule in our lives? In a business environment, using the restaurant example we used earlier, we've seen that 20% of the products represent 80% of the orders. This applies to our customers as well, having 20% of our customers representing the 80% of our revenue. How can we improve our productivity and efficiency by applying the 80-20 rule? We have two ways we can go to improve our productivity. On the one hand, we can work on improving the 20% of our products that represent 80% of our revenue. Also, keeping the 20% of our clients that represent 80% of our revenue happy. This is far more important than risking losing the other 80% and we should focus on retaining that 20% and trying to find similar loyal customers. On the other hand, we can work on the 80% of the products that are not very demanded, working towards making them more efficient and attractive or simply removing them. Also, putting time into adapting our services for the 80% of the customers that only represent the 20% of our revenue. If you are starting a new business, you might find that your efforts are generating very little results. This can be discouraging, but let me tell you about the inflection point. If your efforts are constant and are sustained for a long enough period of time, you will reach a turning point, where putting the same amount of effort will generate much bigger results. When you start a new business, you are not known by many people. And it is at this moment where you have to invest in advertising, reaching out to potential customers and creating a network. It is at this stage that you might find yourself putting a lot of effort and achieving very little results. But if you keep working on the key elements and deliver consistent good service, your product will become more well known and be recommended to others, reaching that inflection point and improving the results exponentially. With one month's work, you could achieve the same as what used to take you five. We can apply the 80-20 rule to learning a new language, and this one here is a personal example. English is not my main language. For many years in school, I studied English, and the way English was taught in school was as follows. 50% of the time was dedicated to grammar, 20% to writing, 20% to reading, and 10% to listening and speaking. Although I retain a lot of knowledge and pass all my tests easily, I noticed that I couldn't speak well nor understand people when they spoke to me in English. The method used by school was not effective or efficient and it wasn't working for me, so I started watching movies and TV shows in English, and my listening and speaking skills improved dramatically. I am not saying that grammar isn't important, but given that 80% of the spoken language only uses 20% of the existing words, focusing on the right elements will generate huge results. There are many more examples in which we can apply the 80-20 rule into our lives. But to wrap this video up, I would like to ask you guys two questions. What 20% of your life brings 80% of your joy and happiness? And what 20% of your life represents the 80% of your problems? 
Using the 80-20 rule, I am sure you will find a way to avoid putting effort and time on what causes you problems and focus on what really makes your life one that is worth living. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, recommend it to a friend. And if you would like to watch more similar videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, employ your mind, and activate the notification bell to not miss any new videos. Also, don't be shy and leave a comment. I would love to read anything you guys have to say. Thank you and I will see you on the next video.